Hi everyone, I'm here today to talk to you about Malmsey or Marble's Leaf Sun Charge. It's probably one of the most well known of the uh, white varietals on the island of Madeira. I think a lot of people associated uh, Madeira's to, to Malmsey and to the richer style. Um, legend says that Jesuit priests back in the end of the 15th century, early 16th century, brought over the original Malvasia uh, Lipari, or as we knew it here, Malvasia de Candida, from the island of Crete, and planted it uh, in a beautiful vineyard on the south coast right next to the sea. And that's very much the birthplace of Malvasia uh, on the island of Madeira. So uh, over time, of course, you know, with all the problems we had during the 19th century with Oedium and Phylloxera, uh, Marmazi unfortunately uh, almost died out. Um, back in the 70s, they came up with a new varietal called Marmazi de Saint Georges, uh, and it is what is Marmazi today. It represents about 98% of all Marmazi is produced on the island. Marmazi de Saint Georges, in my opinion, actually has uh, the, the capacity to produce some fantastic, high, high quality uh, blended Madeiras, creators, and vintages. Um, of course, there is a problem in getting enough of the Mamsi at every harvest time. Um, we're working with about 28 growers in the region of Saint Georges uh, in Santana on the northeast of the island, where the majority of the 35 hectares, uh, 86 acres, are, are planted. Um, a few years ago, we decided to uh, rent a property there, and we now have about four hectares of Malvasie de Saint Georges growing there. So that will definitely help us in the future to make sure that there's enough stock for the for future generations. The wine I wanted to show you today is uh, one of our newest wines uh, that we launched in September last year. It's the 2004 Marmsey Creator, uh, bottled in 2019. So it's a wine that's already got 15 years of age to it. Uh, creators, as you'll remember, um, are what I like to call baby vintages. So a vintage Madeira, full-blown, super premium vintage Madeira has to be at least 20 years in barrel. These creators we can release after six to 18 years uh, aging in barrel. Um, and we only, of this particular bottle run, we only did 2,600 bottles of this one particular um, bottling run. But the great thing is though, of the 2004 months, we have left, quite a bit left in, in barrel to continue aging to become a vintage further down the line. So straight away, Marmosy, uh, this is a, a pretty unique creator because it's not as uh, dark as you would expect from having 110 grams per litre of residual sugar. It's got this lovely dark amber notes to it. And then when you, when you put it to your nose, it's classic Marmosy. So we're really getting the spiciness coming through, those kind of exotic woods, um, and more prominently the molasses and the, and the rich marmalade notes coming through to it as well. On the palate, mouth watering, richness and acidity blending together. This gives it a huge amount of the length to it. It's quite difficult to talk to, talk about this wine after that because your your palate is constantly working. It really is a delicious wine. Um, now, typically, Malmsey is more of an after dinner drink, um, but if you really want to you know, impress your friends or shock your friends even, try having it with some, some grilled steak, some caramelized onions and chips on the side, it works really well. And remember, always serve it slightly chilled, so our recommended serving temperatures for this particular wine is 15 degrees centigrade or 59 degrees Fahrenheit. I hope you enjoy it.